day we're confronted by images or reports of conflict somewhere in the world and yet human beings seem unable or unwilling to avoid violence as a means of settling differences. The nature of war is one of the issues explored in the classic verse of the Mahabharata and a recent production brought the stories to life in a very novel form. Anyone passing the fringe at the Joburg Theatre recently could be forgiven for thinking that some kind of war was in progress. Because, in a way, there was. An ancient Sanskrit epic was brought to life by the Katkata Puppet Arts Trust. How did the Katkata Puppet Arts Trust come into existence and what are its aims? We're a puppet theatre company based in New Delhi and the company started in 1997. Yeah. We are a company devoted to pushing the boundaries of puppet theatre and making people look at puppetry not just as children's art or birthday party entertainment or a doll tied with strings. It's really looking at uh, puppets as a metaphor and a lot of uh, symbolism and, and look at the, the psychology of an audience when it watches dead material come alive. What types of puppets are used in this production? Mahabharata essentially has two human-sized puppets which are based on a Japanese technique called bunraku. And it's three people moving this puppet so you get maximum articulation in the body. And since the Mahabharata is this giant epic with thousands of characters, we use about 30 characters. And the puppet keeps changing its um, character by changing its face. So we have masks that are put on to the puppet. Also, some of us are present as actors. Um, there's a lot of dancing. So there's uh, Chow, which is a martial dance from India. Kalari Payattu from Kerala. Lots of masks of horses, because it's a part of a war and the horses were very predominant. And lastly, could you show us a puppet? I can actually get some of the puppeteers to show you what they move like. Thank you. Even when seen at rest, the masks and limbs of the puppets have an eerie energy. And when moved by an almost unseen puppeteer, the wood and paper mache magically comes to life, conveying personality and emotion without a word being spoken. Oh, goodness, wow! I'm actually so amazed. You aren't wearing a lot of props, but yet it's got such nuance and full character. That is incredible. Well done. Rather than just being inanimate objects, the masks and costumes become extensions of the puppeteers as performers. What does it mean for you as an artist to express yourself through puppeteering? It's an interesting uh, form of art. If you go to theatre, you cannot show any controversial thing on stage. But with Puppet, you can show everything. For many in the audience, it was intriguing to think of this epic work being performed as Puppet Theatre. So here's the story of trying to find Shanti. By going to war, sounds familiar. The Mahabharata dates back over 2,000 years and in broad terms the narrative covers the course of a war and the fates of two princely dynasties. Well, our friend Ved Vyas was no Brad Pitt. So when Princess Ambika saw him, she closed her eyes and Princess Ambalika trembled like a leaf. Now Dhritaras was also disqualified from being king. We keep electing our kings even though they wouldn't see! <laughs> the story begins with a series of court intrigues, eventually leading to discord among the princes and banishment of one of the rival families. Eventually, war breaks out and a prolonged battle takes place, resulting in the death of almost all the mighty warriors on both sides. Although peace is eventually restored and the kingdom enjoys a period of renewed prosperity, there is no happy ending. Retreating to the Himalayas, the surviving princes fall by the wayside until only the virtuous Yudhishthira remains. 
Even he must first visit the underworld before ultimately going to heaven. In essence, the Mahabharata explores whether war can be justified, as even though it may be the only way of defeating evil, it also brings suffering to the guilty and the innocent alike. It's a theme that remains relevant to a contemporary audience. It was breathtaking, the way the puppets were animated and came alive and we were just like real people, the choreography was just fantastic. Just the masterpiece that they put together was absolutely amazing.